What's up, everyone? I'm hopefully it's gonna come out just fine. Nope, it's gonna fade mark in there. Maybe I might have to take the background off. I don't know. We'll figure that out. It's a test. First one test. So what we're doing today, y'all, is I'm Pat. This is Mark. Um, we are. Oh, your mic will pick you up just fine. That one's actually a really good mic. Um, we're doing box openings, and Mark runs a um, basically a an eBay store. Yeah. With a bunch of stuff and or yeah, less or more, and it's all Pokemon stuff. It is. Right now, we have a lot of singles out. We are working currently right on getting uh, into more of the seal products. So, chop is slow, but we're gonna keep picking up come school time. Oh yeah, come school time, Christmas time. Oh yeah, we'll all that fun driving. stuff. Yeah, and it's low clean, right? Low clean collectibles. collectibles. Yep. yep. So, link will be in the description below. We'll have that all set up. So, what we're doing is we're opening up stuff that you will see hit. The eBay store. That's right. So we have everything we need to do that. Um, as always, thank you to Legion Supplies. They are the ones that sponsor me. They've been sponsoring me forever. Um, they give us all of our awesome stuff, and uh, we're using their inner sleeves today. So in case we get some really cool hits. Hopefully we do. Hopefully we do. Yeah. So we got part one you're going to see today. So it's episode one, episode two. They're going to be split, but we're recording it all at the same time. So... Um, so first one will be a lot of blister packs. I have three Leafeon blister packs. Mark has uh, a Shadow Rider and an Ice Rider and a tin of uh, Zashian. So um, we're going to get to that. Um, we're going to then go back and forth. So I only got one hand cam, so it's going to be a back and forth type thing. Then the second one will be um, we have Starbirth. We have two boxes of Starbirth right fresh out of Japan. Oh, yeah from a seller i found i'm no lie one day ship yeah it's a huge steal it, yeah I can't believe you got that. <laughs> the dude's awesome like he they send us and they always send a message on ebay hope you visit someday we have three stores in japan i'm like we'll be there i'm like i would love to go visit one day <laughs> but anyway so let's get into that let's go to the hand cam and so now you see our lovely playmats and the starbirth boxes and all that so i'm going to put we're going to take these off to the side, so you're going to see all the hits lean, lined up on the Mew mat, and then everything will be opened right here where my hand is. And so I will crack a leafy on first. So this is really cool because I kind of needed... So our store is opening back up again, and they're starting leafy, basically, you know, play again. And I'm a competitive player, so you're going to hear more, like, competitive stuff out of me where out of Mark you'll hear... The lore, what's going on? More of the collectible side. More of the collectible side. So what's really cool is um, they have a little bit of everything, and this is from when Fusion Strike was hit. So uh, Brilliant Star was not a thing yet. So you get all your like evolutions packs. You get your yeah. You know, awesome oh, the promos are fantastic. Really are. V Star, I love the little V Star that comes with it. It's actually really nice. Unfortunately, I always make the joke, and a lot of people do. Pokemon likes plastic. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I haven't figured this out. But we're just going to bring the garbage over here because there's a lot of little plastic. So first things first, we'll have to sleeve these up, but we'll get the hand cam on these in a second. Um, you get two beautiful promos. Um, I'll just throw those over there. So... So let's see how this looks. And I'll turn on my hand cam and try to figure out where my camera is. So you get the V Star promo, which I will sharpen, um, which is gorgeous. And then you get a V, uh, which I'm not going to play. So the V's may get sold off, but the, uh, the V Stars I'm hanging on to. Um, then, of course, you get your. It's going to be very hard, but I'm going to show you through the big cam. You get a Jumbo uh, V Star card. Yeah, if you look at it in the hand cam, I'll actually lean the hand cam up a little bit. And we'll do this. It's okay. I got it. And that is your Jumbo, which is awesome. So, and then we go like this. Yay! <laughs> Give it to the kids. So, and you also get five packs. You get your V Star. Actually, very nice thing, and you get five amazing packs, which it looks like we're going to play a lot. Oop, there's a code card. We'll save that to the side. Um, 
So you get Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies. Wow. So you get two and two and a lone yeah, chilling rain. rain. All right. I'm okay with this. Yeah. All right, so let's... Get square out. Yeah. So, you know I, I'm going to just... While I'll hand this off and show you can show what you got, and I'm just going to rip open all three of these because right. it's going to take a minute. So... So hi guys, it's Mark. Now you, you're on the Mark side of life. Yes, now you're on to my deal for a little bit. So we are going to slowly break out some random cold cards during this. So that way we can know you guys are going to watch all the way through. Also, I will have some singles that are from everything from Phantom Series to the Delta. Some old cards I had hidden away. And to show you before he gets going some of the interesting things. We will be yep. opening factory sealed. We only make sure we buy from the most reputable sellers we can. True story. We both have been scammed quite a bit. It's never fun. It's a heartbreaking situation. So we as collectors do understand that getting what you looked at and what you purchased is everything. It is. Um, believe it or not, the uh, V-Star packs came from Target. <laughs> right? right on. They were running a clearance on Leafeon only, which is weird. And I'll tell you what, you know, not for nothing, now that the pandemic, you know, knock on wood is kind of smoothing out, we are seeing a lot more of the retail stores have some things in stock again, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, it was on, um, Best Buy is fully loaded again. Yeah. Um, GameStop's fully loaded. Mm -hmm. Um, GameStop's actually still running like Vivid Voltage and a Celebration, so there must have been another reprint. We actually uh, stopped at Walmart yesterday. We were getting some stuff, and uh, lo and behold, they had some really hidden gems there. I even came across a 2017 Sun and Moon ETV. Yeah, I know, which I I don't know because I've been seeing them pop up on websites. Yeah, I don't know if it's a reprint or people have started holding on to it a little bit. But, you know, you do see some random things. I know there have been some Walmarts you know, nationwide that have popped up with some uh, Evolutions ETVs again. Wait, what? Yeah. Uh, one one famous Poke YouTuber uh, has found some, and then another one has got some. But you know, you guys do have to keep in mind. There's a good key I'll show you guys with sealed products. When you buy something sealed, I don't know if it's gonna work necessarily with the Japanese. They're a little different. They yeah. they do. So oh, they have it. Um, let's see if I can get up close enough. One key I've learned as a collector and somebody is, yeah, it's going to be hard to, is, there's a few of them, is uh, officially sealed products have air holes in them. That is one of the Pokemon's secrets is it has air holes throughout the product. Very, very tiny ones. I did not know that. Yeah. That way you know if, if it's not there anymore, it's going to be quite hard to find on this one because this box is just so outstandingly gorgeous. <laughs> They are, their stuff is ridiculous over there. I'll put the link to them too if you want. They may not be the cheapest, he may, but he does do um, bulk discounts and all that. Oh, they do, so. Like, when you order two, it was like 10% off or something like that. Oh, so. fantastic. Okay, so, all right, so shall we, uh, while you rip your stuff open, yeah. and uh, let's do, I'm just going to, don't want that to go through yet. Uh, let's find the Chilling Rain. We'll do all three Chilling Rains first. Because it's one of those, like, I feel like... So, I opened up a ton of Chilling Rain. Well, I've also bought a lot of Chilling Rain. It's fantastic alternative arts, by the way. I was about to say, it's got the Octillery, it's got the Intellion. So, um, so... Octillery and Intellion are my two biggies. Um, even though I kind of want the, uh, trainer arts of those now. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, so, I'm not going to pack trick these, um, because they are just so random but all right let me hit the we'll make it now there's our foil and we already got a uh glaring looking yeah, look at that and we'll hold that and there you go so first hit we'll sleeve it up and i uh, got the foil vocal so that's not that's bad a, that's a pretty good touch right there i mean it's a couple dollar card yeah. we'll have to uh figure out a nice name for our living thing we got yeah well, we'll figure it out. It's just going to be loaded up on uh, YouTube, my Hand From Above YouTube, and you'll see it live on uh, Hand From Above Twitch. So we'll just slide that up there, and look at that. There it is. Slow King is on there. And... Go ahead, and don't forget to like and subscribe. It will definitely help our algorithm, and 
help us kind of grow. Oh yeah, we're planning on doing this and growing and uh, get rid of it. I don't throw things all over the place. I try to not make a mess. Uh, it was just a green back, so that's just gonna be. Uh, yep. So nothing big there. Nothing big. And last chilling rain, and I'll slide it over. You got a oh, I forgot they had rebel clash in there. Yeah. I'll let you finish opening. What you got? Oh, son of Wow, that. Yeah, this Zycan tin. So I found some Zycan tins a while ago on eBay from a great seller, and. I did not realize they had sun, sword and shield and. Yeah, it's got a sword and shield base set. It's got two rebel clash, a sun and moon base set, and a steam and siege X Y. That's actually really good. That's fantastic. So, and uh, yeah, just a wheezing. So nothing big there, nothing huge. And I guess I'll I'm gonna, I, you know what? I want to save the fusion strike because it's one of those like it's the fusion strike lotto. Yeah, for sure. Um, unfortunately, being a collector, I'm sure Mark has seen that. You crack a fusion strike box, you either got a ten dollar box or like a three hundred dollar yeah. box. It's there's been no in between. No, there's really no method to that madness, which frustrates a lot of collectors, but at the same time, a lot can appreciate it. Oh, I was gonna say if you want a few of the. Defenders, so you can throw your promos in. So some of the things I am breaking out for us is I bought a case of the Ice Rider V and Shadow Rider V Calyrex. Hey, you know we're gonna do this. Uh, which come with four packs: two Chilling Rain, one Rebel, and a Darkness of Blaze. So we're gonna have a nice little uh, mix and match. Get things to open. I I can't wait. I mean, I'm, we might have to save the good packs for later. Yeah. Right. Oh, I forgot. These are the new live ones, the, the Fusion Strike. Oh, nice. So, Clobberpuss. Is there a Farewell Bell? And there's actually the Butterfree's worth something, so. Good looking Butterfree card. It act, and, well, for, um, it's actually being seen play right now in the re regionals. So, Which, there's. By the way, I'm sure everybody is super happy to be back, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. Thank you. Your assistant. <laughs> I'm just I'm playing the lotto here with Fusion Strike. Cause why not, right? It's one of those, you know, you look at it and you're like, all right, what are we gonna hit? Is it gonna be anything good? And there's a Cinderace, which is actually a reprint, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure. It was out of like Rebel Clash or something like that. Yeah. So, but it's a hit. A hit is a hit. And I will take a hit. Right. So, so that is fine with me. So we'll throw that there. Can we get something? How about a Mew? Can I get a Mew? I've never opened a Mew in a Fusion Strike. No, I can't say I have either. I have got the alternative arc Gengar. Ooh. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, it had some serious whitening around it. Ooh. Yeah, so we kept that as a personal collector. That's fine. Shanks. Onyx. And Gudra. So. I'm going to move my mic a little bit. Just sit down a little bit so I can actually see what's going on. So. You know what? We'll slide over to Mark now that he's sorted out. So we got to make some room yep. for your... Making room. All right. There's your Thank little you, pile of... That and we'll slide it over, and there you go. Pick your pack. So, opening a bunch of them. We Why don't you start with Chilling Rain? Yeah, we'll leave some of these aside. We're gonna go ahead and start with a couple of these Chilling Rain here. We have. I'm gonna sleep up my V Stars, I'm not gonna lie. We have four of them coming out of the Calyrex box. Well, that was Shadow Rider still starting to s still seeing some play. Yeah, which we do have a couple of those on our page of VMAX. Yay. Really I actually got my full play set already, so. Just make sure you're brawler. within. Hey, what's your favorite Pokemon? My my favorite, I, I don't know yet. I've been playing. Honestly, Dragazolt's been one of my favorites lately. Okay, and we got a Viper Black Star Rare. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Sub Yeah, Sub Viper. 
I like things that are different. Let's go with that. Right. I'm not. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I've so out of Starbirth and Brilliant Star, I've opened up some of the um, more rare stuff, like the the Haunch Crows and the. Oh, okay. okay. Um, but that stuff is like, you know, I love that stuff. But then at the same point, I'm like. I like the weird ones. Like if I can do something weird with it, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and cause I'm, I'm the builder. I'm the player. Right. Like Delm eyes right now has been on my list of things I've been playing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean we have Arceus, so I could do weird things with Arceus. White card. So you gotta, you, you got something. I mean, that's. See my favorite. Me and Pat grew up with this. Pat was a big magic guy. Ooh. Oh, there you go. That's a Selby VV. Max, that's a very pretty one. That's actually really nicely set up, so I could sleeve that up for you. And that right over to uh, my brother here. Yeah. And we have a Psychic Energy, Larry on. Yeah, I was Magic the Gathering, and then my kids decided that I needed to play Pokemon. Thank goodness they did, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and now look what happens. Now I have star. I have beautiful Starbirth boxes to crack. And so, here and here we are doing this. So, um, now I'm going to give you a little insight of what's happening. I'm actually streaming on Twitch right now, y'all. And now I'm going to download it all, do all the editing. So, YouTube's going to be a little shorter. So, um, we're going to make it a little shorter. But Twitch, if you want to see everything, it's going to be there. So, but I, they like say, it's one of those, uh, you got a little bit of everything. And yeah, yeah. You know, opening packs like, you know, the Selby will probably show up online. Right. You know, Absolutely. these Leafeon Vs will probably show up online. Sure, um, sure, they're like dollar cards, but I mean, if you need them or you want to do something fun. Yeah, you want to put them in the binder. I mean, they are good collectors, and I will tell you what, with patience, good things come to value. Yep. Yep, yep. There you go. Making a mess first time. That's okay. I make tons of messes. Get that code card out of the way ahead of time here. All right. Big lift. Another gold Deerling. Deerling. Another deerling. This is weird. Ah, wedding glove. Okay. Oh, Melamar. That's hey. a huge E. Well, guess who's that? It's going to. No, I already got my playset. Okay. <laughs> I already got the deck built. Oh, nice. That deck's actually uh, 9-0 and 0 in regionals up in Liverpool right now. Oh, nice. Yeah, the Melamar deck. Mm, so. Nice artwork on this cocoon, though. Yeah. Really do like it. So that is one you will definitely want to put online. Yes. Is if you can get a play set of the Melmars, I think they're going for a couple yeah, two three dollars. So. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sleep that one up. We're gonna hand right. it back to Pat. Whoop! I got a few more fuse. I got a few more fusion strikers. And then we. I'm say, I'm honestly saving evolving skies just on the pure fact of if I hit an evolution. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> I've yet to hit one. So, and that's just one of those things, like you know. All right. More Peko, Scalmery, Shelmet. We'll see. Oh, there's our Corvus Squire. And a Latias. Right. I'm not uh, angry with that. And Cook. So let's. I'll just put them in piles right now. It's one of those. You're playing the Fusion. Well, it's just. It is what it is. There is a new set coming out. What? Astral Radiance. Astral Radiance. Um. It's actually already out in Japan. Um, as I forget what it's actually named, I've seen it open. It's really sweet. Um, but Astral Radiance is a thing. They are. They did confirm that they do have thirty other trainer arc galleries going into this one as well. Thirty. 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 Just like Brilliant Stars. As so, as a collector, you're gonna be you know hunting, hunting for those. Oh, there we go. Hey. Chili, Cillian, and Cress. That's a nice little full art trainer. Yeah, it was nice. And there's actually that's the biggie right there. Dunsparce is seeing play in every deck as a one-off right now. That is fantastic. Because of its mysterious nest ability, which makes Arceus, if you play Arceus, basically have no weakness. So, Ooh, nice but we will down. sleeve that up. That's a nice little. Uh, I'll take that. Right. I don't think I have that one. I'll probably still end up. I, I think it's only a couple dollar trainer, but it's still very pretty. So, and then the last fusion strike, and then we'll hand it over to Mark. I don't know what else you got over there. You got Rebel Clash. Yeah, we got a couple more Rebel Clash. We have a few Darkness Ablaze. Why don't you do the Darkness? See if you can find that magical, magical Charizard. Uh -huh. <laughs> the, the always we want it Zard. Everybody loves Charizard. 
I, I got a few. Rodham Spiegel. And did it. Oh, there's an Appleton V, too. So right. we'll take that. Yeah. I mean, it's not horrible. Battle VIP pass. So we'll put that up, and then we'll just swing that back over to Mark. And you're going to. We are going to take in two Darkness of Blaze packs to start. And let's see. Why don't we go old? Uh, let's just do Steam Seeds. There are not many great pulls in it, but I do <laughs> love all the booster packs. This is a 2016 booster pack. This was one of the last, if not, I think, the last or second to last booster pack of the XY set. Oh, is it? It was. So, let's keep uh, our big boy here, Charizard, for last. We are going to go ahead and open this one first. Oh, that's always fun. Oh, <laughs> Try the other way. Well, I mean, the packs are... I mean, I still see some dark... Uh, where was it? I was out on Target. And they actually have Dark Displays uh, uh, ETBs right now. Really? Yeah. By the way, that reprint of those just came out. That's very helpful at that. Is that what it is? Is the reprint? Yeah, so we had a reprint of... A reprint recently came out of, from Pokemon for... Vivid Voltage GTBs, and if you haven't seen those, they are coming up back out. Okay. You are also. You are also going to see Shining Fates. I know there have been some popping up left and right. Small. Yep. Uh, yep. Other. That we got that for Easton for his birthday, my Very son. Nice. That's right. That's right. He 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 was. cracked uh, a full Shining Fates ETB and did I would say very well with it. Yeah. So I mean, he's got a great touch. I'll tell you what. When it comes. To well, it's the kids. The kids. That magic. Honestly, if I don't get any good, anything good out of like four packs, I just hand out the rest over to the kids. I'm like, just get me something good. Right. Do your magic, please. All right, real quick, we're gonna disappear. Uh -huh. Dunsparce. Hmm. Puff. See, one of my favorite Pokemon has always been a Snorlax. But oh, you love big old. I do love Snorlax, man. Big Paris. All right, all right. Is that the fo reverse foil? It yeah. Is. And then the Talon Flame has our Black Star Rare. Put those up there. All right, now we're going to do Steam Siege. Now, you said there's not much in that one. There is not. It's not a huge popular side when it comes to pulls. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they have some decent break cards. Break cards are fun for collecting. They are accruing a little bit of value in the TCG world right now. I'm going to save that code card, disappear. Alright, pan Hmm. If I actually remember correctly, Evolutions was the first set for the code cards to signify that yeah. they be decent pull or not. Yep. Anything before that, you it was a... Uh... Oh, nice. Yeah. Hold that thought. Here we go. Skip Loom. He... I haven't seen much of him. Very nice. All right. We're going to go here, and we're going to go to the Evolving Skies, or as I like to call it, Evolutions. Right. Because, well, I mean, that's what you want. You do. You always want the Evolutions. So. Should we hand, uh, hand out a few random code cards? Yeah, if you want to slide one in front. No, here you go, pal. Hand it right to you. All right, ready? Uh, code cards coming through. If you're watching live, you get a s surprise of it. I'm just going to pick two. Variety of random ones coming out. So we're gonna. Huh. Ready? Yeah, there's that. There you go. And that. Done and done. I did them quick, so you gotta Thank you pause for it. Us. All right. And now let's see what we get. Got to reset. My drowsy. Scraggly. Raihan reverse. That's actually a really nice Raihan. And the wishy washy. Oh, wishy washy. <laughs> oh, wishy washy. Remember, that was a coffee cat. And I'll do two, one more of this. And then we'll hand it back. Mark's got some Rebel Clash, I see, which. Ooh, this one's really loose. It's weird. Huh. It's loose. Like, like I know Vivid Voltage had the loose packs. Like, yeah. you could you could slide those cards all, all sorts of. Around. Around. Yeah. Yeah, so. Four Rebel Clash till the open, a Sun and Moon base set, and a Sword and Shield base set. Another Applin Sableye. Love me some Sableye. 
Can I get around? I'm pretty sure that was a, a ruby a and sapphire set. Was it? I'm pretty sure. You free oh, maybe before. Don't pull me out. Well, you're the lore guy. Oh, well, Easton's the lore one. Easton. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's slide you over, and you can get some Rebel Clash, because uh, there are some full art bosses orders in Rebel Clash that yeah. Still would... Yeah, play right now, I think, for a while. Uh, actually, just got reprinted, so yes, it'll be back again. Oh, very nice. So, boss orders ain't leaving standard. Uh, but, as of right now, Professor's Research... I think it's Research and Marnie might be leaving, which is oh, huge. Yeah. That's big. So, I, mm, no, the Research get it? No, Research got a reprint. So it's okay. It's just Marnie right now. Which is in your sword and shield. Here, Mark, I'll put that right in the You can oh, slide your... You. So. Alright. So. Force of that. Then a... Scyther. Oh. Creepy. Caterpie. And that's your rare. Uh, black star rare. Non-foil. Non-foil. Like I said, I love Rebel Clash. I've opened up a bit of it. And it's just one of those, like, I feel like if you hit something big, you're hitting. Oh, yeah, you're going to win. And it's like, and the thing is, like, the Rainbow Rare Bosses orders is less expensive than the full art, right. which is weird. Really weird, though. So. Right, so, Sandy Guest. That's a weird Sandy Guest. Yeah, right. Stunky. The fairy. Both of them, huh? Oh, there you go. I Tox Trickity. Yeah, I always say that wrong. Tox Tricity V. Yeah. I was going to say Troxicity. Bum on. That's, that's a hit. It is a hit. It's a nice V. Yep. I'm going to hand that right up. Yep, I'll sleeve it up for you. So, water energy. Heracross. I'm going to take these off. I'll leave it right up there. All right. So, we got two more to do. And I'm going to hand it back off with Pat. <laughs> the last three evolving, four evolving skies. The evolving skies. We have a sun and moon base and a good. What is in sun and moon? I forget what sun and moon has. Um, my favorite. He's got the Snorlax rainbow card. Oh, it does have this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Mark, like you probably one. got one of those already, I don't you? Do. I actually do. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure that's that's in your collection. Definitely had to be <laughs> one of the first ones I got. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. We live in uh, Western New York, and the weather is pretty choppy right now. Uh, back to freezing cold again. That's right, so forgive the clearing. Oh, there you go. There's my boy. That's a big old Snorlax. Yeah, I just want to hug him. It's a big old cat. It is. He's a big old fat cat. There you go, the speed energy. That's a nice one. That's seeing a lot of play, too, because yeah. of Jolteon. The Metapod. I always like that because it kind of looks like somebody crocheted him. Yep. Yeah, right? Well, that's also one seeing play because of the uh, Butterfree deck. Because mm -hmm. the Adaptive Evolution. Okay. So, Snorlax, by the way, was the Black Star Rare. That's okay. Snorlax is awesomely cool and adorable. And, he is. You know, well, these things are super loose. Yeah, that's interesting. All right, let's... Oh, well, we already know. There's a green code card there, so that kind of does it in, but, you know. Is Emily cracking a pack? I am. I'm letting the girlfriend crack a pack. She is one of my main helpers at home when it comes to getting the business all together. Oh, she's been awesome about it. Letting you do it all. Like my wife, Holly, behind me. She lets me buy things. Ooh, wait, is that a Flaffy I just saw? That is a Flaffy with the dino, me dino meter ability. Dino meter ability. That's actually a playable card, and we will hang on to that. Very nice. I like that. Did Emily get anything... Of this skew. I'm trying to hide the code card, and see. If, yeah. So I don't see if it's actually a decent. All right, pop back on. Low tad, low tad's needed if you're playing the uh, Suicune deck right now. And if you're watching okay. this, leave a like. Another wishy ball. And a comment and let us know what your favorite Pokemon is. Yeah. And uh, we'll try to do, when we do more of this, try to do some giveaways and stuff like that Absolutely. on the channel. Um, we'll see what the Starbirth brings us in the second one. I am super excited about this, though. <laughs> super slow. Uh, you have a shot at Gold Arc, yes. Right. I'm 
let's be honest, that Trina R. Kelly is pretty great. It is. Motet again. I am big into that. Same here. I've got a bunch in the binder. Nice. There's a Raichu with the uh, elemental badge is the reverse. Oh, and that's nice. actually a hollow Raichu, so it's are rare, so I'm actually okay with that. And last one. Come on. Evolution. There has been no more updates on if they're going to have a reprint of this for the fourth wave, but if it's going to be, it might be around the time when May and June come out with the Pokemon TCG Go. I was going to say Go is going to be big. Yeah, because the last uh, the last 12 months, Pokemon's been pretty smooth. They kind of drop things in groups. Oh, there you go. Noivern hey. V. We got to hit. That's a winner. That's a winner. Winner with chicken dinner. That's right. I'm full face care too, so we'll just go right there. Nope. And then go like this. Hand off. Hand off. All Next right. time I'll have a second one so we can just I can flip between them. That'll be fun. Alright, we are gonna do Sword of the Moon and Sword and Shield. I'll go Sun and Moon first. Save that see if you get the uh the sweet sweet Snorlax Rainbow Rare. Yeah. They do have good Lapras. I haven't opened a lot of these. Be honest with you, uh, they, you can buy ATVs still for. Man, uh, yeah, I've, I've been seeing them for thirty four ninety nine every now and again. So. You guys want to see a magic trick? <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Uh, there's a hit in there at least. Well, it should be, yeah, or possibility. Nice. So. Draw two cards during this turn. Pokemon's attack do 20 more damage than your opponent's Okay. Holy Moses. Umbreon GX Rainbow Rare. That's a hit. That's, that's a, a big hit. That's a big old hit. That is going to end up on the page. So that will definitely get sold yeah, off. For sure. I think that's a that's a couple two three dollars. Oh, yeah, a couple two three. A couple two three. Fire energy. That's a gorgeous card. It is really a nice card. And... Dude, there's no whiting on the back either. That's a fantastic card. It's like, like I said, we will have more stuff coming up. Little right off center there. though. Okay. If you look, the bottom is a lot thicker than the top. Yeah. So, but it's still a very playable, a very collectible nice card. card. Oh yeah, you have one more left. Uno mas. And then we'll, what? We'll take a quick snap break, and then we'll get into this. So. Yeah. Sword and shield base. These are popping up a lot right now. Oh, yes, they are. Yeah, everywhere. Well, because there's a lot of actual decent hits in it. Yeah, right. Um, which is big. And you know what? I'm a personal fan of any, any base set if we can. Mm -hmm. Base sets are always fun. Sometimes I like to think of like the trial more, than, more mm -hmm. or less. You know, it's feeling out what the fans like. But yep. you I, wrong with this. No, like you had Lapras in there. You had Grablox, your rare. Yeah. Not bad. Nope. And there's a that's a rare candy, so that's not bad. No, Alright, so thank you all for stopping out for episode yes. one. Um we will be let me hold on. Do this. Aha. Go to the big camera. And so thank you everyone. I'm gonna squeeze back into hey, frame. There it is. There we go. And uh so thank you everyone for stopping out for episode one. We will be back with episode two really promptly. It's going to be spread out over like a week or two. You'll see that come into play. Um, I am falling out of camera. We're just going to do this closer to Mark. And so we'll have this. We have all the hits you saw. Yeah. Um, I'm going to slide a co-card or two in. So you're going to see that pop in. Um, so please, if you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And we're going to keep on going. So thank you guys for coming out. And we'll yeah. see you guys later. Appreciate it.